Hi guys, another little toy to tear down and have a look inside. This one's called Press and Go. Cost me 50p in the RSPCA. Uh, that says Asda on the back, that's one of our supermarkets. I should think we'd probably call this clockwork because you push it down, that winds up the spring and then when you let it go, it shoots off. So I bought it so we could take it apart and have a look inside. So I imagine we got some sort of toothed arm or gear that turns a gear that winds up the spring and then when you release it it spins the axle. In fact it looks to me yeah you can also wind it up by pushing it backwards. Right let's have a look. I'm absolutely certain I've done another one of these teardowns of this type of toy at some time in the past. So there's, a, there's probably a very similar video somewhere. If I find it I'll put a link in the video description. Right, that comes off there. Is that going to lift up? No, looks like you've got to undo the front as well. There we are, exactly what I was expecting. A toothed arm or gear. And that's just pushed down by you pushing the bodywork down. So, let's have a look inside. Well, it looks like they're all the same size screws, which is always handy. It means you don't have to worry about remembering where they go. Right, is it going to spring apart? Nope. Oh gosh, we've got another unit inside. <laughs> so that's our, we'll call it clockwork. Right, now if we take the next bit apart, that's when it might start to get a bit interesting. We've got the wheel off eventually. You can see the knurling. Or at least if the camera is in focus you can. On the end of the shaft there, or the axle, to hold it in place. But now we can get to these screws. I am impressed that they are all the same size screws. The only problem we've got now is it's beginning to get dark. I might have to put a light on. Right, if we're lucky it won't all spring apart. Right, 
lights on, we should have a slightly better view of it now. So, teeth on there. Push the gear that's behind this one. And there's a ratchet effect so that this can run freely in one way and grip in the other direction. That gear turns that gear, which is connected to that bigger gear. That bigger gear turns that smaller gear, which is connected to that bigger gear. And that gear is the one that actually turns the axle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like twelve teeth on that gear, which will be multiplied by whatever. What have we got there? One, two, three, four. That looks like ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll estimate that. Seven, four is twenty-eight. That's just a guess. So ten to twenty-eight. Two point eight. Each of those, 2.8. So that's just a guess, because I'm not going to try and count them individually. And that's what turns the back wheel. So a short turn there. There's a lot of turn in there. Can we get it back together? One of those dropped out, I can see. Lots of them have dropped out now. Oh, there's an important thing that I missed the first time. That's got a slot. So it's one of those gears that engages one way and doesn't engage the other. So it can freewheel. Or so the axle can freewheel once the power has gone from the spring. And that light's now causing shadows. Moan, moan, moan. Can we get this on here? That's better, that's in. All right, I'll get the screws back in then. I can leave that till last. Right, we'll give it a quick run up and down the kitchen.